Hey guys, what's going on? All right, I am back with another video for you today. This is gonna be that pickups video I've been telling you I've been needing to do for a while. I've been sitting on some really cool t-shirts that I haven't even opened up yet um, for quite some time. So we're gonna get into that in a little bit, but first I wanted to go over some horror news that came out in the last week or so that I think definitely needs to be brought up. I'm sure many of you have already heard some of this stuff, um, but for those of you who haven't, you might still appreciate it. I found it really interesting anyway. Okay, so basically the big news is Bloody Disgusting had Roy Lee on their podcast. Uh, what is it called? The Boo Crew podcast? Anyway, they were interviewing Roy Lee. And if you know who Roy is, uh, you'll know he's a pretty big time producer. Uh, for those of you that don't know who he is, he's done uh, a bunch of really awesome films like The Ring, The Grudge, um, The Strangers, uh, the newer Poltergeist, the newer Blair Witch. And I believe he was supposed to be doing the new reboot of Salem's Lot as well that's due to come out in 2023. Hope, hope. He was on this podcast and he dropped some news. Uh, the Friday the 13th news that everybody is talking about comes from what he said. And really, all he said about it, and I'll quote it, this is all he said. They asked him about Friday the 13th. All he said was, that one is something I would love to talk about. You may be hearing something by year's end on that front. End quote. That's it. That's all he said. Now, he has previously been linked to uh, a Friday the 13th film, because you may remember there was a story out, I think it was 2018, that had LeBron James's name attached to it, that he was going to, you know, produce it and put some money into it and stuff. Um, and Roy Lee was attached to it at the time as well. So hearing the news from him is exciting. Yes, it does make me think that he certainly knows there's something going on. There's something stirring. Um, maybe, maybe they've worked out this lawsuit or they know how it's going to go down and they just can't say anything yet. Um, I really don't know. But... You know, best case scenario, they've worked it out and they're going to announce that they're making a movie. That's best case. But, you know, I want to take it with a grain of salt a little bit. I've had a lot of disappointment being a Friday the 13th fan for a long time because, you know, we've had no no films, no, uh, no nothing really. And then we have this terrible lawsuit that just drags on and on. It even wrecked the video game. Uh, for those of you that play Friday the 13th the game, or, or did, like, like me, I really enjoyed that game. Uh, they cut that short because of the lawsuit as well. They were not allowed to do any updates to it or add any of this stuff that they said they would be adding. Uh, they just had to pull the plug on the whole thing. So that was a real bummer too. So yeah, I want to take the Friday the 13th news with a grain of salt. So I don't want to get my hopes up too excited thinking, oh, for sure they're coming back with a new movie. Like for all I know, he, you know, they're just going to announce some news saying, you know, Sean and Victor are talking and, you know, um, they've decided they're going to make a film again and such and such or, you know, or it could be way down the road. Let's hope not. Let's hope it's going to be uh, something they can get on quick. Uh, I know there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of people that have been anxious to see Jason hit the screen again. And uh, I know there's been a lot of, um, people chomping at the bit to, to make one. I know Tom McLaughlin, who directed part six, my favorite, he has a script that he's had for a long time that is allegedly good. I've heard from some people that got to, that got to read it, who, who said they thought it was really good. Um, I know he would really like to make one again. I think that guy deserves a chance for, for sure. I mean, that, that movie was awesome. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we have no idea. Right now it's just speculation, but everybody's freaking out. Friday the 13th is back. I mean, there's news, there's good news, there's good news. You know, there's, there's a reason to be excited, but I don't want to be too excited, you know what I mean? But uh, I am very hopeful, and that's great news to hear. I'm really glad to hear it, so I'm just not going to get too invested in it in case, you know, they rip your heart out of your ass again. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that's basically the big news there. He also dropped uh, uh, another 
tidbit there about um, The Strangers. Now, you might know The Strangers. That's a pretty awesome home invasion movie. Uh, then they did The Strangers Pray at Night, which took about 10 years to come out. I think the first film was like 08, 07, 08. And uh, Pray at Night came out in 2018, I think, or 2017, something like that. And uh, it wasn't as good, in my opinion. It wasn't as good. Like, it wasn't bad. It was still entertaining and stuff. So I'm, I'm hoping it'll be a little better than that. But I, I was a little bit disappointed in Pray at Night. I didn't think it was as, uh, as creative as the first one. But um, it's still exciting to hear. So apparently there's going to be three new Stranger sequels. That's what Roy Lee dropped. And everybody's like, what? So, yeah, apparently they're going to be filming three sequels to The Strangers pretty much right now, like Im immediately they said they're starting filming, and that Rennie Harlan is going to be directing at least one of them, possibly more. So, Rennie Harlan, you guys might know him. He was big for the uh, A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4. That was a great one. Uh, he did like Deep Blue Sea and you know, Cliffhanger and stuff. He's done a lot of great movies. So yeah, that is definitely good news um, to hear. So sounds like it's in good hands. Let's hope the story is good as well. And speaking of three new films, there is also three new films coming for the Fear Street series, believe it or not. That was also announced um, that there's going to be more of those movies coming. I don't know how soon but I did hear they are happening. There were rumors about them maybe doing something set maybe in the 50s or so. I thought that'd be pretty cool, like in the 50s era slasher, uh, something like that. Like, but yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. I enjoyed the Fear Street series. It was, it was pretty good. Uh, so I welcome more. I thought that was pretty cool. And they have backstories to follow, you know, maybe they'll do something on the Milkman or whatever. Uh, I heard they maybe wanted to do something in the 50s. That would be super cool, like something set in the 50s, like a slasher film, you know, with the nostalgia and the, the vehicles and the, the whole, you know, back to the future feel, I guess. That'd be kind of neat. So that's an interesting idea, but apparently they're doing three of them as well. So it's not just The Strangers, but also Fear Street. It's just we know The Strangers is filming, I guess, right away. That's all I, that's all I heard about that. But uh, some interesting news for sure, and hopefully Friday the 13th pans out. Yeah, that is some great news about Friday the 13th, though. I just, you know, don't want to get my hopes too high. <laughs> Anyway, all right, so well, that will pretty much do it for the horror news that's been going on this week that I wanted to quickly go over. Uh, before I get into the pickups video with you guys, um, I've just finished filming it, and uh, it's ran a little long, so I don't want to run it into this video as well. I'm going to do a second part for you guys so it's not stupid long. Um, but there's some really, really beautiful designs that uh, I go through in this pickups video. Like, there's a lot of t-shirts wide representation as well we're talking there's a graveyard classics is a new company i've tried uh and there's a lot of other amazing ones like gutter garbs we know is in there you got uh, terror threads with some really cool designs cavity colors as well as fright rags so you know some really awesome companies and some amazing artwork like it really blew me away with opening each new t-shirt you know that i had gotten over the last few months here, some of them have just incredible artwork. I just forgot how nice it is. And when you see it in person, it's it's pretty amazing. So you definitely don't want to miss it if you're a t-shirt guy or you really like these horror movies. So watch for that one getting uploaded very soon. I'll try to get that one up uh, within 24 hours or so as well. There's a lot of editing to do in there because it is, like I said, running a little long but uh, really worthwhile, cool looking designs. So definitely check those out. Yeah, anyway, thanks so much for watching this quick update on uh, what's been going on. Let's cross our fingers for Friday the 13th. Exciting news before the end of the year. And uh, we will see you again for the next one, the big pickups video. Don't miss out.